my hands are literally shaking I can feel my heart racing I don't know how to feel I'm so anxious but like I'm so excited I don't know what today's going to be like but I just know it's going to be the last time I ever walk inside my work building and the last time I see all the same people that I've been working with for the last 10 years I'm literally sweating like I don't I don't know how to handle this but I know I know this will be good and I know this is the right thing for me so yeah it's been a while I don't even know where to start or how to catch up I'm actually so nervous to be filming this right now maybe because I haven't been in front of a camera for a while or if it's just like I don't know it's just a bunch of nerves right now but I guess First life update, I finally retired from my full-time job, which feels so weird to say out loud even now. So it's been a few weeks and I've just kind of kept it to myself because I truthfully don't know like my next steps and I just knew that it was the right time for me. I guess backstory, I worked at BP, an oil and gas company. I was a development analyst and I was there for a little over a decade. It was my first job out of college. I had interned with them and they offered me a full-time job and it's just the, the entirety of my career and I could have not asked for anything better. I'm truly so grateful. I really did enjoy my time there, but I always knew working full time for 20, 30 years was just not something I had in mind for myself. I actually was going to quit last year, but I got cold feet and decided I wanted to stay because stability is really important to me. So yeah, I just, I decided last year really wasn't the right time for me. But then this year, it was before I went to Umrah, I actually started having the feelings again of like, okay, I think this is my time to let go. And then I went in Umrah and prayed a whole ton and I came back with so much clarity. And that's when I gave like my notice and I ended up working there a little bit longer. Um, it wasn't like a two week notice that I gave just because there were some pressing projects that we had to wrap up before I left. But yeah, and then I retired and it just feels so weird. But I'm so excited for my next chapter in my life and it's so bittersweet. Part of me is nervous, like I don't know what the future holds and a part of me is excited. Like I know this is the best move for me. I know this is the best thing for me and I have so much potential elsewhere and I'm so ready to explore other avenues. I do want to say though, with all that being said, if you are currently in your like boss babe uh, era and like you're working your full-time job, you're a corporate girly, like this is not to say like you should quit it and go do something else. Like I'm definitely not advocating for girls to quit their jobs and like try something else like if that is working for you I think there's so much power in it I don't want girls and their parents to be like oh my god you quit your job so other girls are quitting their jobs absolutely not this this was a really really hard decision and it's the right decision for me there's also another really exciting and big change happening I'm finally leaving my parents home which feels so extremely weird and truthfully I didn't know if I was comfortable sharing that, especially from the culture and community I come from in the South Asian community. Like you don't move out unless you're getting married. And I have a lot of guilt associated with that. I'm not gonna lie. The guilt of leaving my parents behind, the guilt of like not taking the traditional route of getting married and almost kind of feel like a little bit of shame. Not that my parents have ever made me feel that way or said anything. They have actually been so supportive throughout all of these big changes that are happening in my life. I just really, I'm, I'm working through my emotions. I don't really know how I feel. There are days that I'm so extremely sad and I feel like I made the wrong choice. And there's other days where I wake up so excited and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so excited to start this new life. So yeah, if you're in the position where you're leaving your parents home, whether that's getting married or moving out, let me know how you guys feel. For me, it really is a bittersweet feeling. Like I'm, I'm so excited to start a life of my own, but I'm also like heartbroken that I'm leaving like my family behind. I almost feel selfish in a way and I, I just can't explain it. Like it's so hard for me to accept it. So I've had my place for a little bit now and um, a couple weeks and I just, it's so hard for me to go there and stay there. It's so weird. I am 33 years old, like I should be able to fully live on my own, but the comfort of living with family, if you guys live with parents or siblings, like even if you guys aren't the closest, like 
that comfort and like the blessings that are in a home is like I guess what draws me back here all the time I am here all the time and my family is always like okay you gotta go <laughs> like you have your own place like you need to leave but it's just I don't know it's so hard and I think with time I'll get more comfortable and then eventually I'll, I'll start sharing the new place with you guys. I only moved 30 minutes away. I'm in the city. My parents live in the burbs. So I'm closer to more of like the restaurants and the malls and like just more of like a lively atmosphere. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm just leasing. So I haven't like entirely bought my own place, which is another whole thing. Like guys, so much has been going on in my life. I was actually looking for a home and I just never found something that I loved. So I decided why settle? Like this isn't gonna be my forever home. I don't even know where I'm going to be next year. So let's start off small and go for something like a rental. I will share the place with you guys. It is absolutely beautiful i'm so excited to share with you guys it's a totally different vibe from like my room right now and my aesthetic but i think it like fits my new lifestyle like my new independent era really well um what else i feel like there's so much going on but mostly these are the two biggest changes in my life and i grouped them together like i wanted to move out while i quit my job like at the same time because it just felt right like it didn't make sense for me to leave my job and then just like do nothing at my parents house not that I'm doing nothing but like you get what I'm saying um, because most of the reason why I stayed here was obviously family but also because my job was like really close it was a really short commute and so it just made sense sense to stay here but now that I no longer have a corporate job it gives me the freedom and ability to live elsewhere so I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me on this journey. The next few videos will be uh, sharing my new place, organizing the new place, uh, sharing my uh, like aesthetics and stuff. So I've been there for a couple of weeks, but literally don't have furniture. That's why I'm back here all the time. Like um, my sisters are always like, can you like take all your junk and like move it with you because we want this room. And I'm like, no guys, that's not how it works. This is my second room. It's my second house. I'm going to be coming back all the time to be shooting content here and stuff like that because I really do love my room. Like I love like the paneling that I've done on the wall. I love like the aesthetics in here. And I feel like I've just spent so much time perfecting this room as my studio that I still want it to be a space where I can come create content and I also got all new furniture for my place just because like this stuff doesn't match the vibe of the place. I think that is all my updates. Um, I do have a few travels coming up. I'm going on a cousin's trip. This is kind of something that just came up so I'm going possibly Cabo um, mid-October and I pushed my Korea trip out to beginning of November and then I'm going to Palestine mid-November actually the week of my birthday so that should be exciting. And yeah, just a whole lot of things I'm working on that I'm so excited to be sharing with you guys here in the near future. But if you guys have any questions, just like comment down below or give me some advice on how how to move out and not to have guilt or shame or just, just to make my place feel like home. I would really appreciate that. And if you guys have any questions about like career questions or corporate questions, just give me your questions and I'll be sure to answer. But yeah. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video which will be a whole lot of fun with moving and decorating my place.